Good morning, YouTube. Um, I'm here again from yesterday, I believe. I put a video up of um, the <clears throat> new supply actually not being the new supply and knowing about you. Uh, and eventually, they the narcissist shows you off to the uh, old supply uh, for different reasons. Triangulation, you know, which is jealousy to make you jealous, to make them, him or her, uh, pick a fight with you. Haven't experienced that at at this moment. Uh, hope not to, but not worried. Uh, about the video yesterday, I had said that me being the new supply, I didn't know of anybody else in their life. Uh, so I didn't go around uh, dating this person knowing that they were already involved like uh, a lot of the new supplies tend to do. And I thought about it. I, in fact, was the new supply and I was actually being triangulated. Uh, by way of her ex-husband, which was her husband when I met her. Um, point being, he was in prison on a parole violation. I will always believe now that they had interactions and even to the point where he was probably frequenting the house. Love-hate relationship they are in. Uh, uh, probably repetitively coming back and forth he was uh heavily on drugs so whenever it got uh inconvenient for her and, sh and she couldn't use him for anything such as the babysit the child they have in common uh and and that's all you are uh, a babysitter of them and the child you have by them so i think i in fact so i'm retracting what i said yesterday i think i in fact was uh, a new supply that in fact knew of the old supply but just not in a sense where i felt like i was maliciously deviously doing anything because from her uh, account they weren't together he hadn't lived there in two years da 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 uh she was still married to him but seeking a divorce which she inevitably did uh as soon as he got out of prison i think it was that she had already scheduled a court date. So all of this culminating together leaves me, and I'm, I'm a deep thinker about things sometime after the fact, unfortunately, but uh, that, that, that is what helped me get out of this situation sooner rather than later. And I didn't spend years uh, having my mind uh, effed with. So, uh, and my children got mine screwed uh, to a strong degree by this individual, even the cat. Uh, I'll talk about that in length at some point. Uh, just from st start to finish, maybe I'll just do the whole story, uh, past, present, and future. And uh, uh, also the relationships that I was in prior to this individual uh, in which I didn't know uh, anything about narcissism. Uh, I dumbed it down to sociopathic, uh, uh, sociopath, and in fact, I now know putting that together with narcissism she was so psychopathy was uh, uh, a, a strong there uh, I'm not really into the psychology that much but from listening and reading I'm able to put these things together um, to, to some degree but I think in fact I was the new supply but in fact I did know about the old supply uh, and again not maliciously so I'm retracting on the on the on the basis of thinking that oh I didn't do anything uh, unethical I did everything in a noble way but being at the same time I'm gullibly gullibly thinking that I never saw an old supply and he in fact was that most recent supply probably prior to him going to prison so her well was running dry for the the warm bed and happened upon me at church so hey fresh for the picking what do you know this is a deep 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 thing that i've discovered and i think this is something that dave says on narcology imp uh, unscripted is this is going to turn uh a lot of narcs on their head uh the world on its head i don't even see there's forums that openly speak about this 
it makes me wonder will this ever be spoken about on a on a wide platform uh i don't think so because the powers that be i even believe some of the stronger powers like in the rockefellers uh which is all illuminati based all of this is very much intricately designed and is ran and overseen this power in our world by narcissists so uh, i just know that god says one will cause a hundred to flee a hundred will cause a thousand to flee on and on and on there's power in the blood so be it that we're few i think the only thing can really truly save us from these uh demon possessed people is prayer and jesus the blood the blood of jesus knowing him in a personal way having a relationship with him where he comes in and lives inside of you through his holy spirit and this is not um this is not a script this is not uh the the thing i was taught coming up in church uh, this is this is not a script. This is something that I've actually experienced in my life. Once I accepted Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, as an adult, no, I did as a child. But when you're walking it out in your life and you have a situation after situation that you can't make any sense out of, and you're in a desperate place and you cry out to God, and God hears you, answers you, and will reward your your humble, contrite spirit, broken and contrite spirit, the Bible says, in no ways will he cast out. In no ways will he reject that because your heart is so broken to the point where you are in a weak, vulnerable state. And that's when God can come in and he can reside in you and he'll give you vision, direction, and all this other good stuff that you need as a light and a lamp in the world. I didn't mean to get off on that, but the point is, this is not something that... uh a church will fundamentally do, which is to tell you this emphatically, repetitively, consistently, in a way that you truly understand in a loving way, that you don't have to be bashful or, or, or afraid to give up anything in this world for the sake that you have to make a commitment to Christ. You can never make that commitment in and of yourself anyway. So you have to first just accept him in your life and say, Lord, you know, I know I'm not ready to give this thing up. No, I have a sexual addiction. I know I have this. I know I have that. And if you can do that and be honest with yourself and let God see that honesty, you don't have to prove it to people. They will eventually see the work that God is doing in you. And I'm living proof. 20 something years alcohol free. Uh, 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 mind you, bad relationships, bad choices in relationships, and none of them, none of which has uh, ever caused me to even contemplate going back to alcohol or doing anything to escape from what was happening in my life. So, uh, at 50 years old, this is just something that I believe that the world knows little to nothing about, and other than the communities of narcissist, narcissistic abuse. There is no, there is no other hope for us understanding this. There is no hope for us understanding that. And in understanding this, I truly understand how demonic powers work uh, in, in a biblical way. Whereas humans are um, diabolically just trying to destroy people's spirit. And they're doing it from the inside out. So it's not something you can always see. Anyway, thank you for letting me retract that statement yesterday. So, in fact, to conclude, I was, in fact, the new supply and know, knew about the old supply. And, again, uh, whether it was uh, <clears throat> maliciously uh, remaining involved with her or not, uh, which it wasn't, I knew of the husband. I should have not done a few things with regards to that situation um, even if she had gotten divorced, got a divorce before I actually had intimacy with her or, uh, uh, or, or, or anything else for that matter, whereas it deals with her, I think there's a strong chance that I may have in fact gotten involved with her, uh, and gotten married, even if she had have, had have been divorced, 
before we started the relationship. It's just something new to me. I've never heard of this. I would have never saw this coming. But at the same time, who knows? That is not something you can undo. Um, if only we could rewrite the story. <laughs> so, be blessed.